On May 17th, 2017, my phone account got hacked. Hackers had essentially switched the SIM card from my phone to their phone, and from that, they used it to get access to my Coinbase account, and then stole money from my Coinbase account. On May 18th, I came home uh, from Zuma class, finding out that uh, there were people trying to get into Amazon and Microsoft and all these other accounts, and I thought that was weird, and nothing seemed to go through, and then I realized, oh, um, I haven't checked Coinbase, there was some activity on there I didn't recognize, and all of a sudden I log in, and it's all gone, and they're still in there, changing my phone number. I think the companies like Coinbase and, and others do a very good job of ensuring as great a user experience as possible for cryptocurrencies, but you know, they have a very hard task of ensuring that those users are safe to transact. Before you open your account at Coinbase, I would say set up a unique email that you're going to use for that Coinbase account that no one else in the world has ever seen before. Set a really hard and long password. Make sure you have only the ability to recover from a piece of paper that you control. You call up your cell phone provider right now and you put every level of security you possibly can. You add a passcode to it. Next level of protection is that you add a do not port SIM card to your account and that can last for a year, and that's what I've done. A very common hack is uh, people will, will call up your phone service provider, they'll get a copy of your SIM card, um, and then they'll get into your email through that. Don't use uh, two-factor authentication on an SMS that could be ported using something a bit more like Google Authenticator or a YubiKey um, would be better. Diversify. Do not go and buy cryptocurrency and Bitcoin or Ethereum in one exchange. Buy them across multiple. You know, spread them out. Just use different services because it's unlikely that you're going to get hacked at the same time through all of them, especially if you have different emails and passwords. Keep it offline now when you're not using it. There are vaults you can buy. A hardware wallet, which is a hardware device that uh, basically creates transactions without connecting to the internet. If you have the option, if you're trading uh, tokens on Ethereum, for example, uh, I think you should definitely look into decentralized exchanges. Decentralized exchanges do not hold user funds. The users will always have access to their own funds. Whereas in a centralized exchange, I am giving that exchange my funds, and then all of those funds are pooled together, and it's sort of a central point of failure. Who would I trust to hold my cryptocurrency? Right now, I wouldn't trust anybody. I wouldn't even trust myself. So the question becomes, where do we store our money in the future that we can trust and that it's going to be safe? I don't know. But I'm definitely focused on solving that problem because I need a place. And I think many people around the world need a place too.